Now to Project Drive Sober, our commitment to save lives and keep Wisconsin roads safe. When it comes to preventing drunk driving, you often hear about ignition interlock devices. But who has to install them and how do they work? Shannon Sims breaks it all down. The process of getting an ignition interlock device begins with a traffic stop and conviction. Current Wisconsin law requires repeat drunk drivers and first time offenders with a blood alcohol level of 0.15 or higher to install an IID. Smart Start Wisconsin supplies the devices to companies like Fast Time Automotive in Menominee Falls. The device sits on the dashboard. And it will say initializing and that means that it's getting ready to do its job. Its job to keep drunk drivers off the road. You're going to have to hum and blow. So this is what a test looks like. <laughs> Blow a point .02 or higher and the car won't start. Blow under that and you're allowed to drive, but the device begins what's called rolling retests. Rolling retests are the tests that happen after you start the car with the initial blow. The first rolling retest happens within 7 to 15 minutes after the car starts. One thing is that people think that it just stops while in the middle of your driving. It doesn't. The IID gives drivers time to pull over to take the test or they can take it while driving, blowing over a .02 and an alarm goes off. Your lights will start flashing your headlights and then the horn will go off. It's a built-in safety measure in case the driver got someone else to blow into the device to start the car. If you're going to have somebody start the car for you, then I always thought, why wouldn't you just have that person drive? Some states require IIDs come equipped with cameras on them. Wisconsin does not. Without the use of the cameras, that's kind of the disadvantage of the device is that we don't know who's taking that test. And according to the Department of Transportation, a little more than half of people required to install the devices actually do. Offenders pay at least $85 a month for an IID and they must have it serviced and recalibrated every 60 days. If they don't, they'll be locked out of their car and then they'll have to pay a fee to get a code to unlock it. Stephen Carroll. Shannon, thank you very much. State Senator Alberta Darling and Representative Jim Ott have introduced a bill that would require all convicted OWI offenders to have ignition interlock devices in their vehicles. Contact your lawmaker and tell them how to vote. You can find all that information by going to our website. It's tmj4.com slash drive sober.